if we plot the self-alignment torque and the peak lateral force on the same graph, we see a very interesting thing. As you know to death by now, that is the lateral force for a tire. But due to the contact pack deflection, the peak torque will actually go more like that sort of thing. And what's very interesting to note here is that this is the peak torque through your tire from a contact patch. This here is the peak lateral force. Obviously, because the contact patch is deflected backwards, that lateral force is an important component in your steering feel. But we can see that because the contact patch will deflect forward a bit, even though the caster is giving you a, a moment from the lateral force, it's reducing faster than the lateral force is increasing. This means that technically speaking, you have to drive your tires beyond the point where you as a driver may feel through the steering wheel that it's understeering because it's not actually understeering. And this is why the overdriving technique you see by many famous drivers where they sort of get in and they go like that, that works so well because they are naturally driving beyond this point here and they're sort of alternating between there and there and there and there instead of most people who would be just driving it here. So you can see the average grip that they're experiencing is actually higher. And that's the key behind successful driving on many road tires. F1 guys are usually very good at determining from the lateral forces they're doing it right.